I just want to start off South Africa by saying, Tata Mabue, you beauty. Woo! My sister passed with an A. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Range running the family. I'm, all right, so, all right. I'm so excited. I love it, I love it. But listen, uh, it's our very first culinary hotline of 2016. Uh, please give us a call on 083-913-372. Apparently, we've got a new song this year. Is Do it? we? Culinary hotline bling. <laughs> cling, 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 cling. <laughs> that can only mean one thing. <laughs> This, the, anyway, uh, <laughs> we're taking all of your calls and questions. Zola will be here to answer them. And our first one uh, comes from Shahida Dawood, who says, Hi, Zola. <clears throat> Hi, Shahida. Uh, I wanted to know why a cake, although using the same ingredients, doesn't come out the same, sometimes moist with air bubbles or clumped together. Please advise, where am I going wrong? Okay, Thanks. so you're not necessarily going wrong. Flour and things like eggs all react differently depending on the altitude that you bake at. Also, different brands also have different, com right. you know, like components in them. So you you just never know. So to make sure all your baking is the same, make sure you use try to use the same products for the same cake. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Then you're guaranteed at least that it'll be close as possible to the same as the last one. Yes, yes, yes. Does that yes. make sense? Yeah. So um, also the size of your eggs obviously makes a difference. So um, generally with recipe books, if they ask for an egg, it means a large egg. Okay. So okay. if you use a smaller egg or a jumbo egg or whatever, it's gonna you know, alter the, the ratios. Yeah. Also, your oven temperature also has a very big effect on how your bakes come out. Mm -hmm. So try to remain consistent because baking is a science, as they always say. I've heard that many times before. And also, to try and also guarantee that everything sort of stays the same every time is weigh your baking ingredients, even the liquids, even okay. water. So use a scale and weigh it by by grams or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And the more precise, the better, obviously. And the, the more chances precise, are the... the better, yeah. Um, now that you're talking about different altitudes, yes. um, when they speak about, you know, things being at room temperature, how important is it to control the temperature around your baking environment? Yeah, absolutely important. So make sure when you're baking, everything should be the same temperature. So they always say take everything and have everything at room temperature. Your milk, your eggs, your flour. Don't take anything straight out of the fridge because obviously that also you know, makes a difference to how much that it absorbs whatever other ingredient, etc. Yeah, but no. Okay, yeah. what, 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 is, what is room temperature again? Room temperature is the temperature that you sit outside. Oh, but man, come on, hey, 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 this, hey, this, hey, is, this, is high, this is higher than room temperature because it, it because it is hot. Exactly. Now, yeah. um, but, you know, I, I want to know what's normal temperature. Like what, what, what feels normal? 22 like 23 degrees, degrees. 23 degrees. 23 degrees. 23 degrees. Try and see if you can measure your Yeah, your, but your I mean, ingredient. if you keep everything out at the same temperature, that's yeah. better than, you know, trying to, you know, I, I mean, how are you going to tell what temperature egg is? Well, no, well, I was going to do the tongue test thing. It doesn't, it doesn't work with that. Okay, if I want to start my baking for 2016, what's yes. the easiest thing to start off with? I used to be able to make some very, very good uh, shortbread cookies when oh, I was in high you? school, but like, I, I lost the recipe. Them. Shh, please. <laughs> <laughs> what's, um, what's always, always a, a winner to start off with is something like muffins, just because they're so forgiving. All yeah. you have to do, remember with muffins, is not to overmix them. And they come out pretty perfect every time. Okay. And also, you know, don't go so hard on yourself. It's a new year. Ease into it. Buy a little baking kit and do it that way. Yeah, Make yeah. your first one, gain some confidence, and then start it to experiment. I like that very, very much. Well, we'll carry on with the culinary hotline. 083-913-3728 after the break. And then also, we uh, take a look at my chat with DJ De Hoffner while he was here in Cape Town over the festive season. But after the break, culinary hotline bling. <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> that can only mean one thing. Oh, you can 